Um, so my name is Janine Koch and I'm a PhD student in anti Elizabeth's group in, at Aalto University and human computer detection. Uh, and I'm Daryl Weir and I'm a postdoc in the same group. And so what my PhD is about and what he's working on is how to generate design with machine machine learning. And so we have we thought about like how can we use machine learning in design and like based also on our work. So this poster is actually two parts. The upper part is projects we've already done and the lower part is projects that could potentially be done, like opportunities we see in machine learning for design and challenges that occur due to the fuzziness and to the broad uh, scope of design. Um, yeah, first project, you want to talk about it? Sure, uh, so the project here is called Sketchplorer. Um, it's a desk paper and also a Kai interactivity demo. Um, the basic idea is to create a tool that allows designers to sketch design alternatives rapidly. So they just they start placing down like layout elements, like titles and images and text paragraphs and so on. Uh, and then the system gives suggestions on ways that the, the information can be re, uh, reordered um, in ways that it thinks are optimal according to some models that we have from psychology. So if, um, how easy it is to uh, for a human to perceive it, how cluttered it is, uh, how quickly the, the interactive elements can be pressed, like buttons and so on. Um, yeah, uh, so basically those models so far we just kind of cherry-picked from the literature, but in the future I think there's like strong potential for machine learning models uh, to enhance and uh, you know, actually make sure that what we do lines up with how people perceive the layouts that we suggest. Uh, and then the second project is Janine's current one? Yeah, so the second project is the project I started now. It's the idea of like how do we create input for this kind of optimization algorithm. And so the thing is that every design or when we design things, we always use our experience. We had the previous design with what other people are doing and so on. So what I try to do is I um, crawled a lot of uh, websites and used Gestalt laws and other other um, laws from art, how we perceive things as humans and try to build that into an algorithm so that the computer understands what a human actually perceives while looking at this website, for example. That would help us later when we generate design, for example, to see what are semantic connections between elements or how they're usually structured. Um, yeah, and that's like the project I did right now, where um, it will be presented here as a work in project, a uh, work in progress uh, poster at Kai 2016. And yeah, the second part is this part, and this is like a little bit more general. How can machine learning support design? We use the different design steps, and then mention different opportunities and the challenges that occur for machine learning in order to understand that and in order to support it and be an active part in generative design. Yes.